everyone, my name is Amy Bailey and I am an attorney here at Civia Law bringing you a video today on trademarks. Just a basic overview of what a trademark is, who might consider getting a trademark, and how you should go about choosing your trademark. So why might someone want a trademark? Well, it helps brand owners and businesses create equity in their brand. It can help to build the goodwill in your company and whatever goods and services you provide. It's also important that we protect consumers from any confusion in the marketplace. We don't want competitors to be able to too closely market themselves against you. We want you to have a very distinctive brand so that your customers don't get misled and that your customers don't go and buy a knockoff without knowing it. We want your brand to be distinguished and we want your customers to have faith that when they go and look for your products, they're going to end up with your products. It is important to note along that same line that trademarks do not grant you a monopoly in the product. A trademark only gives you the, the mark, the designation. You have a specific mark that you're using in connection with your goods or services. And for as long as you have that trademark, assuming it meets requirements that we will discuss later, uh, that trademark is yours for an indefinite period of time. Your competitors are not allowed to use your trademark, save for a few exceptions, but they are allowed to market the same goods and the same services. So that's why it's important that your trademark is protected because your trademark is, in a lot of situations, all that really distinguishes you from your competitors, especially in a flooded market. So what are the different types of trademarks? Well, there's a trademark, which is a mark used in commerce in connection with the sale of goods, but there are also service marks which are marks used in commerce in connection with services. But you'll see trademarks used generally to describe both marks used in connection with goods and with services. And so for the purposes of this video and our subsequent videos, we will be using trademarks to refer to both trademarks and service marks. So what is a mark? Well, a mark can be a lot of things. It can be a word or a phrase. It can be a sound or a color or even a smell. Now, smells are the least frequently trademarked of all marks, but they are out there. You've seen words every day, and they're the overwhelming majority of the marks that you see used in commerce. Uh, think about just about any fast food restaurant, Taco Bell, Burger King, McDonald's, they're all trademarked, and those are just word marks. But sounds can also be trademarked, and one of the most popular sounds out there is the law and order sound. And I know that you probably understand what I'm talking about without even having to go and Google it or YouTube it or whatever. Now, colors can also be trademarked, and you'll see them a lot in conjunction with a word, usually in the form of a logo. But colors themselves can be trademarked, and the perfect example there is considering the Tiffany blue color. And if you're looking for an example of a trademarked smell, look no further than Play-Doh. Probably brings up a, a wave of nostalgia just thinking about it, but Play-Doh actually has a trademarked smell. So those are the different types of marks, but beyond that, there's different types of marks in terms of strength. 